Welcome to Utah Natural Meat and Milk. I'm Kristen. And I'm Kristen. We're like twins, right? You can't even keep us apart. I know. <laughs> so this is Kristen Bowler, the farmer's wife, and I'm Kristen Whitaker, not the farmer's wife. Those are the most important distinctions. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a little bit where we are? So right now we are in our farm store. Uh, not only do we have a farm where we raise animals, but we have a store on site where we sell all of our products as well as other products from local vendors and producers. Um, so it's kind of like a mini farmer's market right here at the farm. So you can not only see your food and talk to the farmer and ask us questions, but then you can buy the products and stuff here too. So it's pretty cool. It's hands-on and... Uh, and it's seasonal. What what? No, all year. We're here all year. The party goes all year. All year long. So the cool part is that we have some greenhouses here. Um, we use, um, they're called fodder machines, but it's basically sprouts that we grow in the greenhouses. So even in the middle of January, we can have a foot of snow on the ground and all of our animals are eating fresh greens every single day. So all year long, we have grass-fed meat and you can come and pick it up here anytime. Anytime. What are our store hours? Store hours are Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to 6, and then we're open Saturdays from 10 to 3. We do run the farm full time, which is why we have the store open only during those hours, because otherwise we'd probably be hanging out in here all the time, and then the animals would get neglected, and there's a lot of other stuff to do. So yeah, that's that's our store hours. Yep. All right, well, let's take a look around. This is okay. only my favorite place to hang out. Oh, oh look at you. <laughs> Trying to get slowly back out of the room. <laughs> Welcome back, come on, you're the, you're the big draw, people just come to see you. Okay, Okay. so... Let's start in the door, let's come in the front door. This is where people come. It's a little windy outside. It is a little windy, so people are a little intimidated the first time they don't know where to park. So I'm going to brave the elements and show you what's going on out here. Okay. I have to turn around because I can't, okay. So the main road is 5600 West. So you can get here from the corridor or you can take 78th or 70th, but you're going to come off 5600 West and you're going to turn. It's 7400 South going east. east. Yes. We get that asked a lot. You'll come down this little lane into this gravel parking lot here. And then most people will just park here along the outside of this barn. Okay. So, and then, you know, the kids are welcome to walk around and look at all the baby cows and all the animals out here. On Saturdays, they can come feed the baby calves at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. It's our clever way of getting you to do our job. <laughs> Kids love it though, it's really fun. It's fun. So let's walk in and see what, what you're gonna find here. Coming in the door, look. Okay, welcome. It's not quite as big as Costco or Walmart, but we got Better it. quality. <laughs> That's right. All right. Um, why don't you walk us over to the meat, Kristen? So we have um, a wall of freezers. We have all of our different meat products here. So this is pork. Uh, we have everything from fresh cuts like pork belly that's sliced to ground pork um, to cured things like bacon and hams and then sausages. We have a butcher shop here that we do all of our own meat cutting, curing, seasoning, cutting, wrapping, all of that kind of stuff. So. Um, Pork is all here. And then next we have our beef. We do Angus beef and Coriani beef. The Coriani beef is a heritage breed cattle from Spain. They are leaner and smaller than the Angus beef, which is the bred to be bigger and fattier. So the Coriani beef tend to have a lot of flavor in the meat itself without all of the fat. I kind of compare cooking it to elk. It doesn't have like an overly gamey flavor like wild game wood or elk wood but just really lean like that. And actually it's my personal favorite. We sell. That's what I was gonna ask. Yeah. Number one question is what's your favorite? My favorite's the Coriani. Um, I love the roast and the ground, um, different cuts like that. When it comes to steaks though, lately, and I like the, Angus. the Angus steaks have been amazing lately. We've had such good Angus. And the Angus is just a little bit more tender and it has more marbling in it. Um, they're both 100% grass fed start to finish. And so there's no grain. So even, you know, the, the Angus, which does have a little bit more marbling in it, is going to be far and away better than anything you would get commercially or grocery store. You really, you can't get a bad steak or a roast here. I can say that. You've tried a lot. I've tried all, I've tried all of them. I made it my job to try everything. Okay. 
the best part of my job. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go wrong. There might be a little difference in cooking technique, but that's why you come talk to us and we'll let you know what to do. Totally help you out with that. Okay. Um, we do have, we carry salmon. It's not in stock yet. We're waiting for the catch to get here. It should be here within the next couple of weeks. We do sell individual fillets in our store. We also offer bulk cases, a 20 pound case of salmon, and we still have those available if you want to order those. Best salmon, it will oh. ruin you. I can't even order salmon at restaurants no. now because it's not as good as this salmon. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Oh, Best salmon I've so had. So good. And then, so we have our corned beef here. Um, we do carry fats, we carry organ meats, we carry all the odds and ends, kind of weird stuff that we, you know, we get people that will be like, I know this is a weird question. I love weird questions. Right? But do you carry oxtail or heart? And we're like, yeah, we do. It's awesome. And then we have different things like kefir grains, yogurt starts, uh, cracklins, bone broths, all of that there. And then we have lamb. Our lamb is 100% grass fed from the to finish also. We raise a hair sheep instead of a wool sheep. So anyway, well, the lamb doesn't tend to be as greasy and has a really good, really good mild flavor to it. Um, yeah, I actually didn't even know I liked lamb until I had your lamb. Like, it's, right. a, it's a different experience. If you, yeah. if you think you don't like it, give it another shot. Uh, we also have rabbits. What? You see that there. Rabbit's awesome. Yeah, especially for Easter. Perfect dinner. Ha. Um, here's a question I get all the time. So, we are, if you come over here, you'll notice some of the shelves are stocked high. Some of them are a little bare. Oh my goodness, look right here at the bacon. Still out of bacon. Still out of bacon. So. So um, I'm gonna have a customer today be like, oh, was I not here early enough? Did it sell out today? No, we just, bacon's probably one of our most, if not the most popular cut we have, yeah. right? People come and to see us and the bacon. Yeah, so it's just out a lot. I wish we had pigs that just made bacon. Like that would be amazing. But you know, with each animal, there's only so many cuts you get off of it. And we're not going to harvest another pig just to get more bacon because that's a waste of, of the animal. And so we have a head to tail philosophy that we need to use everything on it that we possibly can. And so we'll want to sell more pork chops and roasts um, and things like that before we will harvest another pig just for the bacon. But we normally will cut, uh, cut pork about every other week. We'll do beef one week and then pork the next. So it's, it's on a fairly consistent basis, but you know, bacon will be in and out in like a couple of days. So. Well, and that's one thing I want to point out that's different between our store and a big chain store. I have people ask, well, when does the shipment come in or when will it be in again? But when you're on farm time, it comes in when the animals are ready, it comes in when we're ready. There's a lot of things at play. So you can't expect the same level of, we're not catering to you so much as we're catering to the pulse of the farm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So flexibility is appreciated. You but, kind of learn to eat with the farm and with the seasons and, you know, with the animals. But the trade-off is the quality, right? Yeah. So where I have, I've had customers that are upset with, um, they never have this in, it's always out, it's bad customer service. <gasps> they have the best customer service, right? But they're upset because they're used to these like commercial patterns of marketing and that's not how it runs here. So things kind of ebb and flow, but stick around and keep coming and you'll get what you want. Eventually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's see what else we have in the store. Okay, so we have, let's see, different, what, vital proteins products we carry. Um, primal porridge. You want to talk about primal porridge? This is actually Kristen's brainchild here. <laughs> uh, my food baby. Yeah. So we carry stuff in the store and odds are if it's here it's because we use it and it's one of our most favorite things. So with all the food allergies in my home I came up with a hot instant cereal that met our criteria for quality and nutrition and then I made some for Kristen and then we're like let's hit the shelves with it and it turns out people like it so we have it in the big bag 18 servings or we have single serves if you want to try it out and you can use it for a hot fast breakfast how do you like yours I like mine with our milk our raw milk and some berries usually blueberries wild blueberries yeah. and some walnuts on it that's all I need I love maple syrup and pecans but we also like to bake with it, make muffins and pancakes, all kinds of things. So if you look on the shelves at what else we have, these are all things that we use and we like. And if it's not a local product, it's a company we've called and talked to and vetted for quality and animal ethics and all that thing. So we have, we have a, a line of um, vital proteins. And the biggest reason we started this was for these guys, the liver pills, because we are out of liver all the time. Nowhere else on the planet is liver a hot item, right? Know, right? You don't see people fighting, like literally fighting over liver, but it hits the shelves and it is gone. Because um, people here, we have smart customers and they know 
it's nutritionally dense and it's so good for us. So we have, we have the liver pills here um, for when we're out of liver and we need that fix. But then we, we branched off and we carry uh, bone broth and collagen for when you need an instant on the go. Uh, this chocolate collagen is my most favorite. I had to stop buying it because I could eat the whole thing in one day. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's like really a glorified good. frosting. It's like a chocolate berry collagen. It's so good. Yeah, and the collagen's awesome. I use this in my smoothies. Um, just put a scoop in there. It's great. Yeah. It up really well. Um, we have gelatin. We have this awesome soap. We have so uh, Farmhouse Apothecary makes this with our um, grass-fed lard, and it's awesome soap. So, and, and we have a local made deodorant, and you'll find like products rotate as we find new vendors and new favorites. And so, yeah, it's worth coming in to see what we have. But here's another staple that is kind of newer to the farm, but I love it. I'm trying to get my. <laughs> see the Lakanto products if you're familiar with them. We have a lot of keto customers and low carb customers. This is a, a low carb option for people who need the sweet stuff, right? It's made from monk fruit. It's good. So come in and ask us how we use it and what our favorites are. Uh, we also carry raw milk cheeses. These are not from our milk because we don't have number one a cheese cave or the equipment to do it, but number two a lot of excess milk to be able to make cheese with. So we get it from a farm in Pennsylvania and there's a lot of different flavors. We actually have another shipment coming in. It should be here on Friday. Um, everything, I mean, they've got pepper jack, cheddar, smoked cheddar, sharp cheddar. And they're all like, good. Also our mission and, to taste them all. Oh, they're the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah grass-fed, raw milk, they're amazing. Let's come around here and then end up there. So, right, so in the middle of the store, oh, slash. if you're a hardcore fan and you want to deck out, you want our Rebellion shirt, join the Rebellion. amazing. Kristen came up with all of these designs for our shirts and bags and hats, and they're awesome. Yeah, so you can come totally show your love. You can dress like us. <laughs> all right. Support our haircuts, uh, our style. What else do we have? So this is new. This is Utah Natural Meat Taco Seasoning. Um, it's the one that I use all the time. I mix it up myself and decided that it's good enough that we should share it with the world. So anyway. <laughs> Watch it's, for a whole line of seasonings coming out. We're working on that. Yeah. yeah. And it's all, there's no garbage in it. It's just basic spices and that's it. So, that's the best part of the store. I can grab anything off the shelf and there's no garbage right. in it. No there's garbage. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we have raw honey that comes from a beekeeper in Taylorsville. It's close by. Uh, what else do we have? We have citric acid and rennet and things like that to make cheese. We do have a cheese making class coming up on Saturday for that. And then these are balms. We have body balms, we have uh, lip balms, and those are made with beeswax. So they're pretty cool because it leaves, that beeswax leaves like a coating on your skin. Super for most of the day. So it's really, really good. Yes, we're still going, Shane. Shane's back. <laughs> don't you have someone to do that for you? No, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, but that, that brings up a great point where she says we have a cheese class coming up. Let's go over here really quick and show you the uh, announcement board. Yeah, so these are our upcoming classes. Um, I check back on the board all the time. Like we have a probiotics class coming up. We're always rotating through our favorites class and adding new ones. So you want to check on this board and you can check online under uh, Farm Store Education and it'll show our rotation of classes. Yeah. Also over here, woo, uh, we've got, here's when our bulk orders are coming up so you'll know when to order by. Um, we have such a great value on all these steaks and cuts, but by far the best value is gonna be if you order in bulk. So here's where you check, or we have this information online, when to get in. We have a bulk order about once a month and they happen year round. So there's no pressure to hurry and get that half a cow right now. Wait till you have the freezer space and the finances lined up and then let us know what we can help you with. We also carry a limited line of doTERRA. If we don't have what you need, you can ask and we can probably get it in the room. And then let's, let's move it along. We have an entire freezer dedicated to bones. That's how awesome our bones are and how great bone broth is. So yep. We have uh, beef bones and lamb bones and chicken bones and pork bones. And in November, we may have turkey bones. Depends on how many whole turkeys we sell. And They're my favorite great. feature of the bones is the price. Tell them how much the bones cost. They're $2 a pound. All the bones. I can't find anywhere that compares. I found these same like marrow bones at Sprouts that were grass-fed were $10 a pound. I've seen them right. at Harmon's for $5 a pound that weren't grass-fed. 
you won't find this price anywhere and I love that they've made this staple, this health food superpower like available to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Great for dogs too. If you have your furry friends who like bones and these are awesome for them. Okay. Oh, uh, this fridge. This is where we keep eggs. Uh, we are a little low on eggs today. We've had a sudden rush on those recently. Well, and, so and it keeps selling out. It's been really hot and guess what? Yeah, chickens, chickens go on strike when it's really hot. I can't say I blame them. I That's another example of the ebb and flow of farm life. So you yeah. can come in and get mad at me if you want. I don't control the weather. You can yell at the chickens, I guess. Yeah. So. Our eggs uh, come from hens that eat grass and eat our custom chicken feed, which has no corn and no soy in it. We do have that available also on the front porch if you're interested for your birds. So they are they're pretty. They're the they best. They are pretty. They have yellow, 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 or yellow, orangish yolks, and they stand up and they taste good. Like who knew eggs have flavor until you had eggs from a farm, right? Here's something I love. We just talked about this in a recent post, but show them the top of the box. There's like no fancy claims. No. It just it's just eggs. eggs. <laughs> We don't have to tell you that it's free-ranged or cage-free or any of these buzzwords because you know if you're getting them here, they're good eggs. They're just the eggs. chickens were treated well. They live chicken lives like chickens should, and they make better eggs. So that's right. what we do. Right. Okay. So um, those are the eggs. Eggs are five dollars a dozen. Uh, I don't think you can really beat that price. I see them at more expensive than that at the grocery store. So. Okay. So let's come over All right. here. So this week. We have, we have some fruit available, so we've got peaches from a local farm. We're trying to get this. Get it oh, yeah. here. So, <laughs> you're getting it. You got trying to. Looky, there's peaches. Sorry, there. excuse my camera work. Peaches, but here. Bread. Abigail's oven bread. We have, what, four or five different flavors in. There's rye bread. If you've never had the cinnamon swirl, it's amazing. Out of this world. Amazing. Special treat. Jalapeno, oh, best avocado toast you'll ever try. Like this is this is good gut friendly bread and it's the real deal and it was made fresh and I used to make it myself and I quit. I'm not as good as Abigail. No. <laughs> Abigail Lemon does a great job. They're down in Spanish Fork, so really local. Um, they deliver to us a couple times a week, so we always have fresh bread in stock. It's it's amazing stuff. See, I skipped over an important freezer. Oh, our chicken. And this is something else that marks Utah Natural Meat apart from others. I don't know anywhere else in the state that you can get local, free-range, pasture-raised chickens. Yeah, yeah chickens. Oh, um, one of those beauties. It's, it is hard to find chicken in the state of Utah. Um, they're awesome. We love these. So we, we actually process, we raise and process all of our chickens right here at our farm. They don't leave our farm. We have a license to um, harvest them here. And so that's what we carry. So we have, we are out of what? Chicken breast and tenders. Those are always the first to go. We do have whole chickens, we have legs. We sell the chicken organs, we sell the necks, we sell the feet. Feet are amazing for broth, even though they're a little bit creepy. That's okay. Not as creepy as the heads. Those don't sell as We fat. do sell heads. Those are also good for you. If you want the heads. Yeah. So we will be processing chickens again next week, and then we'll have those different cuts in stock. Here's but a quick question. Can I get chicken in January? Maybe, maybe not. So we raise our birds through the warmer months and into the fall because chickens don't do well in Utah. In the, in the winter, it's too cold, and they just it's just not a good combination. So we raise as many chickens as we can, and we'll sometimes go through November that we yeah. have them, and then we just have them until they're gone. So. Maybe in January, maybe not. Just depends on how many we sell. Yeah. So. Okay, let's move to our grand finale. From my favorite part of Utah Natural Meat besides Kristen. <laughs> our raw milk. Our beautiful, beautiful. Best milk. jugs in the state. Oh man, it's the best. Best milk you're gonna get in the state of Utah. So this is just bottled today. Uh, comes from our Jersey cows. They are completely grass fed. We don't give them any grains whatsoever. Um, they are outside. We milk it. We milk all of our cows here. Our dairy is on site, and so we milk here. We bottle here. We bring it right here. Um, raw milk is not pasteurized. It is not homogenized. Tell us why raw milk is so good for us. Well, you might not think of it this way, but when you're buying a pasteurized food, you're getting a processed, incomplete food. If your focus is to eat whole foods, you want raw milk. It's whole. It's how it was made to be. It has all the enzymes intact, which is important because if you pasteurize it, you kill all the enzymes and then suddenly your body doesn't have the keys to unlock the nutrients in there. 
it doesn't matter how much calcium is in there if you don't have the enzyme to break it down. Another problem is we get a lot of people in here that are lactose intolerant. Any of you guys lactose intolerant? It could be because the milk you're drinking doesn't have any lactase in it. Right. In fact, if you buy uh, lactose-free milk at the store, it has lactase added. They didn't actually take lactose out, they just added lactase, which is what they took out in the first place. Right, and both yeah. of those are in milk anyway. It's all in there. Everything you need to digest and break it down is right there. All the complete nutrition is right there. Like, we could go on for an hour. It's yeah. just, here's a question I get all the time in the store. Okay, they bring this milk up to the counter and they ask me, how long should I boil this milk for? Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't boil it. If you boil this, this is full of so many good probiotics and good enzymes and good bacteria and all that stuff that you want for your gut that when you boil it, you're killing all of that or altering yes. it or changing it. And this is a perfect food the way it is. Uh, it comes right out of the cow. It goes into our bulk tank where it's chilled and then it goes into a bottle and into the fridge. Oh, and, and where where is our dairy? I get asked that a lot too. It is right here. It's right on our across farm. the parking lot. Yeah. It is as local as you can get. Yeah, you can. And again, grass fed, so it has all of the that good stuff in there because the cows are eating what they should be eating. And we also sometimes we get questions about testing because if you're gonna Google and study raw milk, you're gonna find that people that say it's the best thing you could ever eat, and people who say it's awful and it's gonna kill you. So do your research. Make a decision for yourself, but really, we triple test our milk. We test it ourselves. We send it to third party testing. The state comes and does their own testing. And so we're always watching. We're always making sure everything's clean. We have very high cleanliness standards at our dairy. By the way, you won't find those same standards at you know commercial dairies. You no. just, they're not held to the same standard that we are. So you like, you can almost have more confidence here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, when they, I mean, if they're going to pasteurize milk, they don't have to be as worried about their cleanliness with it. So it's kind of, it's kind of gross if you want to do a deep dive, but we'll yeah. talk about that another day. <laughs> so and then you've got this gallon of milk that you can go home and drink, or you can separate the cream off the top to make ice cream or whipped cream or butter. Right now, we're not legally allowed to sell cream. That's another question we get asked. So talk to your legislators about that. Apparently, the public can't handle raw cream. Cream is dangerous. Raw cream is dangerous. What do you yeah. do? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you can come and you can take it off yourself. Um, and then you can take this and you can make yogurt. You can make kefir. You can make cheese. Any this yeah. one jug has so many possibilities. Yeah. So yeah, awesome. love it. Yeah, I love this stuff. I love everything in this store. I get so excited because. You can have confidence in anything that you're buying here. And also, we love to visit. So come and tell us what you're looking for, what we can help you with, what maybe you're intimidated. I have a lot of people that are new to this whole food lifestyle and these healthy choices, and they are just a little overwhelmed. And that's why we have an on-staff nutrition therapist to help you figure that out. So, yeah. yeah, not to mention you get the farmer's wife's cooking tips. Right here. We live in the lifestyle. You don't get more real than here. So thanks for joining us today. And come in, we're open at 2 o'clock. We open at 2 o'clock today. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Bye.